Hi, I'm Graham Mossman from Exosol, and today I'm going to talk about how you can analyse data that isn't in a standard CSV flat file, uh, for example, where the file is in an XML format. Not all data these days is in a flat file. Increasingly, there are formats available that allow hierarchies of data and combine schema and data together in the same file. Examples of this are XML and JSON, but increasingly a number of other formats are being used. Another issue I'd like to consider is the case where data is available on a web service. Do we really need to download it before analysing? Uh, my answer to that question will be no. I'm going to use the BBC News website as an example, as well as the familiar HTML format. They also provide the data in an RSS feed in XML format, which is convenient for use in computer programs. I'm going to create a simple user-defined function in the Python language to show how you can analyse this XML data directly from the web service. Note that this same method applies to more than just the XML file format. In fact, I could have written the user-defined function in Java, Lua or R. It's just that Python has a particularly good library for XML files. Here is the familiar BBC News website in HTML format. I can click on the RSS button to get the XML version of the file. And by looking at the page source, I can show the format better. You can see here that the data is hierarchical. There's a channel and that's called BBC News Home. And below that, there are a series of items, each of which has a title, a description, and a load of other attributes. To keep things simple, I'm going to pull out just the title of each of the items on the news. I do this in ExoSolution by creating a user-defined function called BBC News Titles, and then running it with the location of the web service as a parameter. You can see that by selecting this from Joule, I can access the BBC News website data within SQL. Here is the user-defined function. It should be very familiar to anybody who's written a simple Python script. I import a library which makes it easy to work with XML data. And then for every title in every item, in every channel, I output the text for the title and this is actually the headline that you would see on the BBC News website. For convenience, it's often good to create a view from this query. Once created, I can use the view in SQL queries just like I was dealing with database data. Or I might decide that instead of interrogating through what might be a very slow web service, it would be better to just create a table from this query. And so now I can have all of the data as a table in my database. And that's the end of my presentation. For more details and for a free community version of our database, you can go to www.exasol.com. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.